Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, I'm going to be creating the fancy little cuff um, to go on the sleeve. Now, according to the pattern, it tells me to cut two pieces of entredeau that are seven and three quarter to eight inches long for zero to three months. And so that's um, what I need. So I have cut two pieces of entredeau um, that are eight inches long. Now I need to gather some lace on one side um, for the fancy cuff. And I want my lace to be one and a half times um, the length of the entredeau. So I'm gonna measure the entredeau, then I'm gonna fold it in half, the lace, so I have two halves, fold it back on itself, so that I have three halves, and then I'll cut that. And I need two pieces of lace since I have two cuffs. Put the rest of my lace off to the side. Okay, now, um, before I gather this lace and zigzag it to the entredeau, um, I need to trim the entredeau away from one, or the batiste away from one side of the entredeau on both of the little cuffs. So this will take me a minute to get this trimmed um, and to use a straight pin to pull a header thread um, and gather my lace. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got one um, edging lace zigzag to the entredeau cuff, and I need to butt the lace up to the entredeau for the other cuff, and then zigzag that into place. Just go kind of slow, because this is rather small lace, and I don't want it to um, catch on itself. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this done. Okay, I've got both little sleeve cuffs complete. And um, since I need to sew it to the bottom of the sleeve next, I need to fold the cuff in half and mark the center of each one of my little cuffs with my blue fabric marking pin. Okay. All right, now, um, I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the sleeve um, one at a time. Okay, pin it in the center, line up the two center marks. And then grab my gathering threads, or pull my gathering threads from one end at a time and gather the fabric of the sleeve until it's the same size as the cuff. Just kind of move the gathers along the basting thread um, until they're evenly spaced. And begin to pin that into place. Okay, so that's one side, and I need to gather and pin the other side, so I'll be right back. 
Okay, I've got that pinned all the way along the cup, and I had set my machine to a straight stitch, and I'm going to sew uh, this entredeau cuff to the sleeve, just sewing right to the right of the entredeau ladder, taking my pins out as I come to them. So that is sewn on. Now what I'm going to do is I want to um, finish off this raw edge um, before I press it to the inside and zigzag it into place. Um, because the little cuff is so tiny, um, I don't want to have all of this um, loose threads and whatnot that might stick out. Um, from the sleeve. So I set my machine to a zigzag and I'm just gonna zigzag this raw edge to finish it off. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I still have a few little fuzzies sticking out. I'm gonna trim those fuzzies away using my embroidery scissors. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to the ironing board and I'm going to press this little entredeau seam to the inside and then I'll come back and zigzag it. Okay, so I have pressed that seam to the inside and I have my machine still set for a zigzag and the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. So I'm going to zigzag this entredeau cuff to the sleeve, keeping my little seam on the inside. Now the last thing I need to do in order to be finished is I need to use my seam ripper and this lower gathering thread is still showing. So I'll pull that out and I'll reach on the inside and pull out the bobbin thread from the inside. Okay, so there I've got two sweet little sleeves. Now my instructions tell me to sew the underarm seam in a French seam, but I'm going to vary from the day gown instructions just slightly because I want to set these little sleeves into the day gown 
um, with an entrée scene. So in the next video, I will be creating um, the entrée scene and setting the sleeves into the body of the day gown. But in this particular video, I was creating the little fancy cuff and sewing it to the bottom of the sleeve. And I think that this little sleeve is just turning out just precious and sweet as it can be. Okay, thank you.